episode 126 I showed a laser gun controller which I made to play video games with. Recently I have found another laser shot tracking software which translates mouse clicks in a more compatible manner than what I knew before. For the first time I was now able to use my laser gun with emulators. Without further ado I want to show some emulation examples. I emulated the NES with the FCÖ emulator and a fork called FCÖ MM, which can be put into RetroArch. For the Sega Saturn I used Metnafen. The Sega Master System is well emulated by Freeze SMS, but the footage you are seeing was recorded with Genesis Plus GX, which can be put into RetroArch. To emulate this NES, I used again Metnathan. The Atari 8-bit computer's family is well emulated by a program called Altera. For the Atari 2600 I used an emulator called B. The famous WISE emulator worked great for me to emulate the C64. The program which allows me to use the laser gun on these games is called Project RS. It was made in 2015 by Philip Meissner. Calibration is very fast and painless. During calibration, the software can even account for offsets caused when the sights are not perfectly aligned with the laser. Besides the lovely computer mouse emulator, the software offers a slew of shooting trainings and even a parkour editor. The software can be downloaded free of charge from the Project RS website. In episode 96, I gave an overview over laser shot tracking. Nevertheless, I want to quickly remind again what is necessary. A camera is needed which pays attention to the laser. Depending on whether a visible laser or an infrared laser is used, different cameras or filters should be considered. I use an infrared camera made by ELP which costs roughly 35 US dollars. Laser guns can be bought from various sources or can be built at home. As display, I use a cheap second-hand projector for which I paid 100 US dollars, including shipping from the United States. An alternative would be to put a non-reflective sheet over a TV screen. Currently, I am aware of two free softwares which offer mouse emulation, Shoot Off and Project RS. While RS works, it's not perfectly suited for all emulators yet. In some emulators, once in a while the mouse cursor is placed, but the program doesn't notice the click. Furthermore, I wasn't able to use RS with the Arcade Emulator MAME and the PlayStation Emulator PCSXR. But the existence of RS gives me hope that we are very near to a universal solution. This is the end of the video. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.